Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Warren, and this is Luigi's Mansion 3, and this is my first ever playthrough of Luigi's Mansion 3. I'm going to, like, continue doing this puzzle here to see exactly what we can do. That actually might just, it might be as simple as this. Yeah, okay, I think I was overcomplicating it in my head, for sure. Um, what we need to do is bring this back here like this. So that's here like this. Bring that over here like this. Maybe? And then bring this around like this and they'll both come around at the same time. I was over comp No, I was not over because it only goes that way. I was still over though because I think we can do this. So if we push this around like this. Okay, so this is going to turn one, two, three, four more times. But when you blow this back, it's only going to blow back once. So let let's see how we do this here. Let's keep that going. Let's let it blow around to here. And now do this. See, no, because we have to worry about this as well. So, okay, hold on a second. We want it in, the t in two. So here's actually like... Hold on a second. I think we can do this. Because we want to like to, to, to be about... Wait, me, no. Because this still rolls around counterclockwise. So if we do this... Wait, if we get it around to here like this. I actually think we can do this. I think we can do this. And then do this. Yes! Luigi, we did it! I don't trust this face at all. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh! Dude, I've, I've gone through Sen's Fortress. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Those swinging axes, you know. Okay, let's uh let's check around for any more fake things. Because there are going to be a few things. This whole area, like, conceptually and then, like, creativity-wise has been absolutely fantastic. Like, I've loved so much of this area so far. So what does this do? So it's going to be one of the things we're going to have to, like, break this apart on their head. Okay... Hold on a second. Wait, with Guiji. Can we like block this off? No. We have to bring this up with Guiji. So we can block the way for Luigi. Like this? Wait, first of all, Luigi, what's in here? Don't miss out on stuff just because we nothing? Anything around us? Guiji, Guiji is getting punished. Punish Guiji. Do the same thing again. Uh, oh, it only goes to one side of the tracks here, so we have to do the other one too. But this one doesn't even have anything in it, so like, wouldn't block the way at all. Huh? Okay, this is super interesting. I wonder how we pull this off then. Okay, so they're shooting over here like this. Stop that, it's very bold. It's very bold, stop that. Huh. We can't just go through this door because as Guiji. Oh, I'm I'm so silly sometimes, guys. See, this is the thing. This is the thing. Sometimes it's like this is like a basic mechanic, and I'm like, how do we do this? You know what I mean? It's like because not everything everything is still pretty like strange to me sometimes, you know. But that is a very simple mechanic, you know. Whenever something's out of place, I just have to remember to use that light. Yeah, that's my bad. That's my bad. That was a that was a kind of a silly mistake, to be honest. But now we've gone through this. And now we have to fight enemies? This concept. Yeah, I've just been enjoying my time through this whole game though. Like almost all of it's been so enjoyable. Yeah. 
again shining the light around here. I've started doing this like uh, as I didn't find a bunch of gems in the last uh, episode. I was kind of oh oh stay close. Do you have, is that a thumbs up or you putting your hand in your jacket or both? I suppose it could be both if you wanted it to be both. Nice little bit of coins as well. Man, it's it's such a shame to take these down off the wall. Wait, what is this? Is there something here? There is. Yeah, okay, yeah. This see then this is what I'm talking about. Like getting better at this is like actually making me feel kinda good. You know what I mean? Because it's like uh, originally, the concepts were quite foreign to me, you know what I mean, in, in that way? Let's go through here. Found the royal coffers. Oh my lord, look at this. And another gem. So we are missing three gems from this area. We'll have to go and try and get them at some point. So all of them are different floor gems. So that actually makes everything easier to find. They're all laughing at us too. Love the design of this whole area. The, the armor is really weird too because I was so sure that they were going to come to life at some point, but they didn't once at all. Like, they might come to, to life in, in the future, but like that's to me that's some like crazy... Are we doing the boss battle right now? I don't want to leave this area yet. You look so amazing. Oh, there we go. But like again, it's a different concept than what I thought it was gonna be. And the fake like ghosts in the stands. So there's a target on its chest. There's a chest. There's there, there, there's a shield covering the chest. I guess we got to figure out how to like I guess get. Oh wait, hold. There's a thing here. Oh, okay. What are we go okay, so is it is it the same concept I wonder is like getting the shield down or So yeah, we have to like get this or maybe we can just do this. You stop that right now, you stop moving. You stop moving, sir. Oh my lord. This actually might be our like first death, because again, I'm not like entirely sure how we're gonna like Get the chest out of his hand. Oh my god, I walked right into that one. Okay, so as he's doing that, he's vulnerable. Okay, that makes sense. And that feels pretty good. You hear the clanking of the armor too. Okay, now now I can now I totally get the concept. I was trying to like remove his shield. When a better option would have been to like. Oh no, but he's, he's gonna get stronger each time. Oh, he's gonna get, okay, okay, we, we hug the wall, we hug the wall. We hug the wall, we hug the wall. So when he pokes his head out, that's what we that's when we have to do what we need to do. Here. See, right there, right there's when we have to do it. Another really freaking awesome, uh, freaking awesome boss battle. And like again, they are like perfectly elevating. You know what I mean? In terms of like difficulty. Like they're not too hard yet, but you know what I mean? Like they're they're raising up in difficulty slightly every single time. Which is what makes this truly enjoyable. There's no there's no spikes. You know, there's no weird difficulty spikes. And when he does that, that's when he wants to shoot the stuff at us, which is fine. Like it's not too it's not too hard to avoid this, this stuff. And he's gonna do it again. Where 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 Here we go. And that's when we do this. This is a fun boss battle too. But then again, like it's it's I don't know. It's really Is that it? Oh no, he still has a lot of health, but now we have to deal with him like without the armor. Which like seems like it would be like make things easier. Leave me alone. I'm trying to collect your gold. Okay, I also want to hit you. No, we should have collected the gold. 
We'll collect the gold now for sure, though. We're not going to leave any gold behind here. No gold left behind. And he'll get dizzy again. It's okay. It's okay. We have a lot of gold now. Well, a lot of gold from my from my perspective. Some people are going to be like, Calvin, that's not a lot of gold. I had 50,000 gold by the end of this level. Well, why don't you share some? Trickle some of that down to me. <laughs> Great boss fight, great design, great visuals in the background too. Like it was great. It was really good. Why are you booing me? I'm I won. Yeah, now you leave. Just trying to sweep the floor the best we can <laughs> before things disappear. It's a wide floor. I don't know what your guys' favorite has been so far, but this has definitely been my favorite world again. Again, it topped the, the great stage. And they're getting a little bit bigger as well, a little bit chunkier, but then again, some of them might be, you know, become small at some point. And I will say, turning off the hints from EGAD kind of added to the isolation of this this place. Wait a second, let's see if there's anything secret in the boss room. Because there was something secret last time. And then the music playing as well is like really cool now too. It's very, very happy. Ah. And the popcorn in the stands too. But like, what's kind of like sad is that this dude had to create his own audience from cardboard. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. Man, if I could though, I'd walk through all these those stands. I've never been to a Renaissance fair because we don't like really have that here. You know what I mean? And I suppose as well, the reason why like America is so popular with Rena Renaissance fairs too, I think anyway. Is because like in America, like you know, America in terms of like, oh, is that another gem? America in terms of history, right, is not very old in terms of like American current American history. You know what I mean? The like, actual country of America's history. While in Ireland, I walk down the street and there's like a 13th century house. You know what I mean? Literally, like literally on my street, there is two towers that were built in the year 500. You know what I mean? It's like I don't have to worry about that in Ireland. I have history everywhere. It's surrounding me constantly like you walk then you walk just down the road and there's like a church that was built back in the year like 900 like it's crazy it's so cool oh, we're back up here that's so cool the way we made it like a big roundabout trip here okay well i have no problem doing another sweep of this area before we do anything else because we beat the boss you know what i mean we're not gonna stay here forever but like stuff like this i missed like like that has to be this, this has to be something right like, look at this, this loose brick. How did I... I totally missed this the first time coming through. Is this just another gem? No, it's a chest. Okay. It is. You see what I mean? Like, that type of stuff, like, you kind of miss it on your first time through, but when you're actually actively looking for the stuff, it kind of becomes more apparent what you're looking for. Like, if that makes sense. I think it does anyway. But, like, I wonder, like... Like, first of all, can we see all the gems that we have? We we can. So we have a silver, a blue, a green, a purple, and a yellow. Is it silver or is it like... I don't know. So if we look at the map as well... it will, No, it doesn't show us uh, where... Okay, that's fair enough. It, it doesn't show us like where things are. Like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So there's no other secrets in here as well. That's cool. Yeah. I just realized that like, we're probably going to be exploring this place, like, for no, like, for a long, long time. And I, I like, I, I don't want to, like, just, just, like, cut off the playthrough just to, like, explore the same place I've been exploring. We can go back there at some point as well. 
Although, if we're looking for secret things, this was like one of the, like these two, wasn't it? These, this here, were two spaces that were like, yeah, they didn't have any night in it. And I, like, remember, just like, it was actually weird to us. That's fine. What does that get us, though? Is this the first time I've, I've gotten every single gems in one place? That feels good. That feels really good. Um, actually, let's check the map here for a second. Will they show us how much is in every single area? Or like at least show us like, maybe maybe it's just if you, if you if you got them there. Let's head back. So now we have another key. We have another way of getting out of here. How exactly are we getting back from here? Do we just do the same concept again? Unless we unlocked a shortcut and I just didn't see it. I'll see you later, Luigi. Have fun. Have fun with your life. Yeah, the music's really good here too. Okay, that's kind of sad that we're leaving this area. This is really good. Uh, now... We have a, yet another, uh, elevator button. And if finding gems is that simple, then we will we'll for sure go back and do stuff again like that as well. So we have Castle McFrights, we, we did. We have the Rest in Peace Suites, which was awesome. Hotel Shops, which is awesome. The Great Stage, which is awesome. The mezzan Mezzanine, which was really great too. And the Grand Lobby. Uh, so I think we're just going to go straight to Floor 7. Like, there's no reason to go back to Egad right now, I don't think. And we're going straight into this. Like, that's the thing. Like, it, I, I, yeah, I don't think we should waste any more time here. Because we did explore... Oh my god, this is like freaking reminds me of um, Batman Arkham. Like, with the Poison Ivy stage. Okay, so there was something like right in the first area. Let's keep, let's keep on the lookout. Let's just keep on the lookout. Now, we did find all the gems pretty naturally in that area. Some areas we had... Some areas we definitely had trouble with. But like... That is awesome, using the soccer ball like that. Get rid, get, get out, get, get out here, soccer ball, please. Thank you. No, don't come back, you're not a boomerang. The ball, I always wanted to be a boomerang, it was my wish. Ball, come here. Now you want me? Yes, I do. Before, you, you had a problem with me. I did, I'm so sorry. It's okay, I know my use for this. This is so cool. Like again, like every every single area contrasts each other. Like some of the areas are similar because they were part of a hotel, but this seems like this lends more to my theory that it has been months or maybe even like a straight year since this whole place was like turned into a ghost place. Maybe even longer because like this place is overgrown, and this doesn't happen like in the in you know this isn't it can. Plants can grow quick. They can grow quick. Especially when they're like, you know, being really sneaky about it. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I agree. The hold still. I'm shining the light everywhere just in case. But I guess the best time to shine lights is when it looks like something is out of place. It looks like something is missing. This is so weird. We came from like a very stone cold area with like, like, you know, basically a medieval town almost. And now we're here in this like overgrown land, kind of like an Arcadia almost. Or like what the concept of Arca Arcadia would be. Oh, 
I have not been paying attention as much as I would like to be for the to, for the boo things. If I missed out on some boos, then uh, you know, we'll definitely try and go back and and see if there's more boos here. Wait, it's right there. Whoa. They went above and beyond with the- Oh, wait, it's, it's very easy. They went above and beyond with the visuals in this game. Like, and it's not just like, oh, this looks cool. Like, I'm actually immersed in the setting of this hotel. You know what I mean? I'm actually- I actually feel like we're a part- like, Everything is a part of this world. Also, it's just really cool to explore these areas. Like right here, there's maybe there should be three here. No, okay, that's wishful thinking. I know something, some tomfoolery is gonna happen as soon as I do this. So I'm, I'm trying my best to like hold off grabbing this, but let's do it. What tomfoolery you got for me? No tomfoolery? No, where's the tomfoolery? Okay, here he is. Here's tomfoolery. Yep, there is it. There it is. How do they keep coming up with designs like this for the ghosts? It's really hard to not smile from ear to ear while playing this. And like, you know... I've had people in the past being like, you know... Wow, you gush a lot over like, really good games and it's like... Read that sentence back to yourself. If a game's doing well, I'm not gonna shit on it, you know? Like, well, what, what, like, find something, uh, oh, you know what, actually, over here, this leaf, look at this. Oh, that's, that's pretty low res. That's pretty low res over there, oh, that's breaking my immersion. There it is. Oh, oh, look at this tree stump over here. Oh, no. That doesn't make any sense, how would it grow out of the ground like that? It's just, it, it, unless there's like, roots or like, dirt on the ground. This doesn't make any sense, it just makes sense. These grass... What is this, 2002? <laughs> like, you know, like, what's the point of doing that when like, I'm going through this world, it's so freaking fun to explore, the g ghost designs are pretty freaking interesting and they fit each world they're in. I'm not just gonna shit on a game for the sake of it. Especially since I play these games like, Mostly like hour, like an hour at a time. Like, it's just like a vacation. It's a, it's a vacation where you play a game for an hour at a time. I'm not playing for seven hours in a row. Well, you can brush on these. Oh, look at this. Coins on a shelf. Who puts coins on a shelf? Immersion broken. That's my new thing now, guys. I'm just gonna be doing this every playthrough. <laughs> What is this guy called? He's leading us up here though. This isn't a concept where like he's trying to block us. He's kind of giving us an avenue. It's his own avenue. But what, oh, can we actually like swing with this? Oh, we can. <laughs> no. They should have done a game. <laughs> they should have done a game over screen. <laughs> they should have done a game over screen. Like I'm still wondering. Like, I, like it's gonna be very hard again. Like to top the medieval stage in this game. But I like how every single area we're in, there is an attempt to like, at least like, it's not like, hey, we're not trying to make this better than the other area. We're just trying to make it look unique. Like, look at this. Uh, flowers on a glass table. Don't know why that's wrong, but I'll tweet about it. It's my new character, guys. His name is Gerald. Wait, all, can all these come off the wall? No, they can't, wait. There is a door here. Now whether whether we can just go through the door or not, or we need to like remove this stuff, that's a different story. Oh, so that's how you open these up. 
I wonder how you get rid of the uh, the plant stuff on the other side here. Purple cushions? I would have gone with green, I suppose. Well, whatever. Gerald, have you ever even played Luigi's Mansion? No. But by God, I'll I will I will criticize every level I can. Well, okay, Gerald. It's your life. So they actually forms back up here as well. I just know someone as well is gonna be like, Calvin, we're allowed to criticize games. And it's like, yeah, I didn't say that at all. I didn't say that. But if you wanna say I did say that, that's cool. Criticism is important. Oh, there's another, there's another flashy light over here too. Look, it's just breaking apart these pots as well. You almost forget like where we are in the mountains here as well until you see the setting outside too. And we have to like, I think we have to like suck off the leaves because if they don't. How are we going to get rid of these? I wonder if we're going to have to like set fire to this thing like we did with uh, the other area too. That could just be it. But now that we're at, oh wait, is there something here we collected there? Can we jump on the bed? I know, I know Guiji has to go through that pipe by the way. I'm, I, I didn't miss it. I'm just like, I'm just exploring before we do that. You know? Oh! What's this gonna get? Oh, it's gonna get us up here. Oh, is that a gem? Oh, they're gonna be like these type of gems now going through this world. Star gems. We missed the first one already. Or maybe we did. Is that how it works? Or is it like they could be in different areas? Guys, with that though, we're gonna end the video here. I'm super excited to see what else this uh, world has to offer. Again, you know, there's gonna be stuff I'm definitely gonna- Oh, there we go. You have to get it from the roots. There's definitely gonna be stuff that we're gonna like, as I said, we're gonna miss. And again, like I said, before someone says it, of course everyone can criticize stuff, but then I'm- What I'm saying is that I don't like to play games where I just nitpick stuff for the sake of it. It does- It's not fun for me. It. It's uh, like, I did it when I was like a teenager, cause like, you know, Everyone would be like, oh, this game is this and you're not like, but like, it's not fun. It's not fun. Sometimes it's just fun to play games. Criticism is totally important. Criticism is always important. I criticize games on like Twitter all the time. I criticize games sometimes in my videos too as well. I've stopped games because I haven't really enjoyed them. But for me personally, it's just like, if I'm having fun with a game, I'm not just going to be like, well, look at this part. That doesn't actually matter too much. If you get what I'm saying. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.